Gain is a stealth game developed by World Game Entertainment. You play as Xavier, a spy tasked with sneaking into an enemy base to extract documents. The game starts you off with a pistol that carries 5 rounds as well as one throwing knife. Guards die in a single hit from either weapon, but ammo can never be replenished, so you must use it sparingly. If the guards ever spot you, they will kill you in one shot as well. Instead of having a mini-map, you get a sort of wall hack that allows you to see the position of every guard on the map, along with their cone of vision. Starting from the second level, you gain the ability to slow down time for a short duration. While everything is moving at a snail's pace, you are unaffected, allowing you to slip past guards in situations that you wouldn't normally be able to. Then from level 3, you get a bow which freezes guards for a short period of time, but does not kill them. This comes with 3 arrows, and of course cannot be replenished. The largest issue I have with gain is the incredibly poor AI. First of all, you can run beside guards without them noticing. Second, you can shoot a guard right in front of another, and he won't give the slightest care. Thirdly, if you get spotted, that guard will shout something like, I caught you now. And again, the other guards that are right next to him pay no mind to it. The stealth in this game makes the sneaking of Skyrim look like a masterpiece. This is supposed to be a stealth game, surely guard AI must be competent. There were times in game where I seemed to take damage from seemingly nothing. This led to a couple of deaths where I'm not sure if something bugged out or I had triggered some trap. Many times my bullets just wouldn't land anywhere within my crosshair. So either there is bullet spread that extends beyond the scope of the game's crosshair, or it is buggy. If there is indeed bullet spread to such a degree, then I'd have to call that poor game design in a game that relies on you using your bullets sparingly. The game lacks any sort of UI elements that allow you to track your abilities. There's no stamina gauge to see if you have the energy to sprint, nor is there one for your time slow or your guard check abilities. This is an oddly absent feature. You can make the argument that it adds depth to the game, forcing you to keep track in your head, but the game has no depth outside of that. Game boils down to trial and error. Once you have beaten a level, you aren't likely to lose unless you make a stupid mistake. The guards follow the same patrols each time, and the documents, as well as the exit, are in the same locations. Worst of all, there are only 7 levels. Keep in mind that once you know where to go, a level takes about half a minute to complete. With all of my failures, I finished the game in about 40 minutes. This makes for a painfully short experience. I had honestly thought that perhaps I just finished a series of tutorial levels, but no, it was just over. After beating the game, I went back and finished it again, in 4 minutes this time. Literally 4 minutes. The store page sells gain as a hardcore experience, but there is hardly any challenge to be found. If not for each death sending you back to level 1, the game would probably be over in half the time. Ultimately, gain feels like a demo or an early access title. It's disappointing for multiple reasons, the lack of AI, the buggy nature, and absence of content. For 5 bucks you can't ask for much, but one would certainly expect more.